Well, hello there, Libra. It is so good to see you. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. If it's your first time on the channel, welcome. We're so glad you joined us. Okay, so today we are doing your weekly tarot reading. This is good for October 17th through the 23rd. We'll take a look at the overall energies with the Oracle cards, and then we'll move to the tarot for more details. And if you're enjoying the content that I create or resonating with the message, I'd really appreciate it if you would consider like, commenting, or subscribing. I really do appreciate all of your support. Okay, let's get into your reading. Let's see. Pig spirit, use your mind wisely and truth be told. Okay, so we're going to get into this. Wow. Um, for some of you, I feel like there is perhaps either somebody sharing a truth with you and you're going to have to use your words. It says use your mind wisely, right? But it's almost as if to me, you have to, to think of your response, okay, in a very kind of clear way, okay? Um, and for some of you, it could be that you want to share your truth with someone. And it's about thinking it out, okay? It's not like spur of the moment, I'm just gonna, you know, Oh, they're saying wing it. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to wing it. You see how the pig has wings? Um, yeah, you're not going to wing it. You're going to, yeah, you're going back and forth. Okay, so yeah, we have deception, dark thoughts on the bottom. Okay, so let's get into this because I feel like you want to have perhaps a conversation with somebody that, you know, once again, Perhaps you feel like it's deceiving you, holding back information, holding back secrets, something like that. You're trying to move this energy out. And we do have, yeah, this is really causing you a lot of anguish. Okay, so we're going to get you some answers here, Libra. Holding back, okay, holding back with the seven of cups. Um, you know, the seven of cups is choices, um, sometimes confusion. You're, you're holding something back, um, in this situation. I feel like you're not necessarily telling somebody how you feel and you could be concerned that this person is looking at other options or, you know, there's almost... You know, if it's a romantic connection, you could be thinking they're looking at other people or other options than being with you. If it's a work situation, which it could be because that's a work situation, right? You could be thinking that perhaps your boss or, you know, if you're applying for a promotion or, you know, a, a new job, you could be worried about competition. Like somebody has a lot of options. There's this sense of holding yourself back. Um, and the truth of the matter is, is that you're holding yourself back because you don't want to be rejected or abandoned. So in essence, this is um, kind of letting you know that this is going to work out in your favor. But what you have to do is be truthful, not only with yourself, but perhaps with this person. It's not that you're not being truthful, Libra. I would really, it's not like you're lying. So I don't want you to think that. It's almost as if you're not expressing how much this may mean to you. Um, because there is this sense in um, like my heart chakra, just how important this is to you. And it's almost like you don't want to know the truth. Like you need to ask your boss or you need to ask, you know, your your romantic partner or a family member or something. It's almost as if you need to ask, what is the truth? How do you feel? Um, yeah, I can feel your anxiety. <sighs> um, you know, uh, the only thing I can say here is that sometimes once we know the truth, we, we can deal with the truth, you know, um, I can totally relate to this energy of just being anxious because you're not sure what the truth is. And so it's sending you into this dark thoughts. And sometimes that, you know, your air sign, the dark thoughts, you're, you're almost conjuring up 
the very worst case scenario possible in your mind. Your ego is taking you there. And because of that, you are just kind of have this energy of holding back, uh, of perhaps not looking that there could be other options even for you. So I'm not saying like, say you, you, you're not going to get this job or you're not going to get this promotion or your romantic partner does want out of your relationship. It's almost as if you're not seeing, it's like an all or nothing type of energy here instead of seeing, okay, well, once I know that truth, right, of how somebody else feels, once I know that truth, then I can start looking at my options. It's almost as if you, your ego has taken you to the point um, of thinking that if I'm not going to have what I want in this situation, if it doesn't, if I, I can't have the outcome that I'm really and truly wanting, then that it's almost as well, then I have nothing. What you're being asked to take a look at is that once you understand the truth, then you can start looking at these other options. It's almost as if you're trying to plan out every single scenario here, you know, um, and it's really kind of getting you up in your head and possibly, you know, having you feel um, like the whole world. I'm really sending you lots of love and hugs, Libra. It's almost this energy of feeling the world is against you a little bit um, because of this one situation. Because you're almost like completely wrapped up in it. And I'm sure this won't resonate with everyone. But if it does resonate with you, um, you know, um, I do send you lots of love. Be kind and compassionate with yourself. Um, you know, I'm also going to suggest sometimes when we get into that energy um, of being in this, you know, go for a walk, you know, um, exercise, get your body moving because when our body is moving, we can't be in our head as much. And I know it can be really difficult at times when we're in this energy to want to do any type of exercise, right? Um, so I, I encourage you, call a friend or a family member and say, hey, can you go for a walk with me or talk to somebody about this? Because I feel as if this anxiety is really um, a pulling on you at this time. And with, this seven, uh, with the back and forth energy here, you're kind of going back and forth, um, almost like, you know, um, causing yourself to go even darker into this. Yeah, you know, this use your mind wisely. I feel like you're using your mind to go even further into this energy of, you know, what are they doing? What are they thinking? Instead of just asking them. It's almost as if you're trying to figure it all out in your own mind. We can never read anybody else's mind, right? Um, so it's about just having that conversation. Uh, and, you know, I, you know, it's almost as if whatever you are fearing the most is probably not, uh, not what's going to be the actual case, right? Um, so let's see what we have here. And these cards are like, Libra, I think, you know, yeah, you've been really patient trying to figure it all out. Once again, that, again, that energy of going back and forth, trying to maybe figure out what it is that you want. I think you know what you want. I think you're, you keep maybe talking yourself out of it. It's almost like you're not wanting to even, yeah, there's a, a healing here. Um, wow. Interesting. Okay, so there's this energy of wanting to heal. Um, you know, we have the two of cups here. I feel, wait a minute, sorry. An energy of wanting to heal this sadness, you know, in a romantic connection. Um, it could be a romantic connection or at least a soul contract, you know, somebody that's really close to you. It can be a family member. It can, even with the two of cups, be a business partner or you know, as somebody that you work closely with, or even maybe your boss. Usually the Two of Cups is somebody that's kind of on the same plane, except that we have the Empress card here. Could be your mother. 
it could be, or you could be the mother and, you know, this is a, a mother child or even a father child, a parent child kind of connection. Um, with the Empress energy, you know, it's nurturing, you know, uh, your energy, but it's this energy of wanting to heal this. This is on the underneath, you know, understanding that maybe for some time you pulled your energy away from this person or this situation, you're holding yourself back or you held yourself back for some time because you really had to step into your own independence, your own independent thinking. And I feel like now you're kind of ready. You're ready to see what the next um, chapter holds. Um, and yet, I think at the same time, it's kind of like you want to, to, to move forward perhaps with somebody from the past or, or a family connection or something. There's something near and dear to your heart that you really and truly want because you're trying to transform. You're trying to change, okay? This is, you know, the um, death card endings bring new beginnings, you know. I feel like you have this uh, true connection here that you're trying to... Um, you know, start perhaps a new chapter with, or you're you're trying to um, bring in an energy of perhaps closing out a chapter and starting a new chapter, perhaps a new love chapter. But this is also Gemini energy. You could be, um, you know, it's just an energy of doing what your heart truly desires. Like uh, you're just caught up in your mind and there's almost a sense that you feel like perhaps this can never work. And I feel that's why you're here. It's almost, yeah, oh my gosh. You don't know if this can be healed. I think for a lot of you, this is a, a person from the past, although I don't have like the judgment card or anything. I feel like this may be a connection from the past. Um, you're just blocking. You're blocking the healing in this connection. Um, and you, you're wanting it. You're wanting it. But look at, we have the king and the queen, a cup. So you could be dealing with um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Interesting. We have Scorpio here. Um, Scorpio energy. We have Gemini energy. You're blocking this. This is what you really and truly want. This is what you're resisting. So the question is why? Why are you resisting this? Um, let's see if we can get an answer. Why? What's the why here? Why? Why? Why is the truth? <laughs> why are you not asking? I, I mean, I feel like you may need to ask this person a question. You know. Uh, you could be in this connection right now, right? And you're just trying to figure out how they feel about the connection or are they wanting to leave the connection? It's almost as if you you have some connection in your life that you're thinking about, okay? So it's almost, you're trying to read this person's mind, Libra. That's all I can say. It's almost as if you're trying to read this person's mind, um, and, and you're, none of us can, it's not just you, Libra. It's like, use your mind wisely. You can't use your mind to read somebody else's mind. <laughs> it's almost like you have to be able to read your own mind. What is your truth? It's almost like, don't use your mind to read somebody else's mind. Use your mind to figure out how do you feel about this? And then having that, I, mean, I feel like you, you're being asked, how do you feel about this? How do you feel about this? What is your truth about this situation? Wow, there is just like so much. My, it's just like tense. Libra, I'm so sorry if you're resonating with this. This is like tense. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Four of Wands on the bottom. I mean, I almost want to cry because it's here for you. Justice, there you are. You could have walked away from this, um, you could have walked away from this connection at one time. I'm not saying, I feel like there's been some betrayal here, okay? Somebody uh, did something, somebody walked away. It does not mean that they had necessarily a third party or something like that. But somebody did, you know, walked away 
somehow in the past. This is a walking away of sneaking away in the middle of the night, right? This is a walking away. I'm walking towards my own happiness. Perhaps, you know, somebody here walked away initially. It could be you. It could be the other person. It, it, you could be feeling like this person wants to do this. If you're in, still in this connection, that maybe somebody wants to sneak away in the middle of the night. But look at this. Uh, new, uh, fresh beginning with the Two of Cups. Somebody here wants this wants this to come back in into play or or to reignite the ace of wands is finding that passion again within a connection that you already have or that inspiration if you're thinking oh my goodness this is my business partner you know um then it's getting that spark back there's somebody here that wants to relight the passion. I feel, Libra, for some of you, it is you that wants to relight the passion, but you're just afraid the other person doesn't. And once again, it's like you're trying to read their mind. Do they or don't they? And it, it's just kind of like, oh my goodness. Like, just ask. <laughs> just ask. And if you're sitting there going, no, this is not a connection I want back in my life, then I'm going to say you're probably perhaps in a twin flame connection and the other person wants this connection back, wants to spark the, the interest, the passion back into this, okay? They could be having this energy because there is this strong energy of being twin flames, you know? But this is finding the justice, finding the balance, you know, back into this connection. Financial stability, you know, um, if it is a business connection, it's finding that financial stability, celebrating this, this partnership, understanding we're back, we're back on track and we're bigger and better than ever, right? I mean, it really is that type of energy. Because look, you have the four of wands again. It, you know, there's this sense of actually when you have this conversation, I think you're going to celebrate the conflict that occurred. Because once again, I'm going back to this nine of pentacles. This is very spiritual. You're, you're understanding that you had to go on this path a little bit for your, by yourself or there had to be this conflict between the two of you for some reason in order to build your own independence and your own independent thinking. Um, so it's almost as if you're grateful because I feel like this conflict or this, you know, energy of not knowing of what the other one is thinking, that's all it is. It's really a lack of communication, lack of communication. What you're understanding is that is something we can correct, <laughs> we can work on, right? Um, when we come to the, to the realization, okay, why are we having a hard time telling our truth? It's probably because somebody or both of you in this connection, whether it's romantic, family, or work related, right, is just so concerned about how the other person feels, right? Is afraid of being rejected or abandoned. Um, and that comes from those, you know, childhood wounds. So it's almost as if you're coming into this sense of understanding, my goodness, this this was a good thing that happened. This conflict that's that occurred, it, it's actually bringing you to the point of understanding yourself more and then also understanding the, the, the necessity of good communication skills. So let's see what we have here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the Five of Cups. You, you know, you're, oh my gosh. Okay, you're in this energy or the other person. Okay, because that could be, we could be tapping into their energy. I feel like for some of you, you could be mirroring each other. All right, the confusion is coming because it's almost as if you are just focusing on what you have lost or what you might lose. Okay, you don't know the truth. It's almost as if you are in this energy of missing something that you may not actually be missing but you're not asking, 
So in other words, let's say it's about a job, right? And you're afraid that your boss is, um, you know, you're, you're like up for a promotion or something like that. And you're so worried that your boss isn't even going to put your name in the hat or something like that. Um, and so you're trying to figure out what your boss is thinking. So every single thing that the boss says, you're scrutinizing, you're overanalyzing it, right? Trying to figure out what does the boss think about me, you know, and my work and are they considering me for the promotion and all of that? So what you're looking at is you're kind of like, oh, you know, you say your boss is, um, you know, uh, you see your boss in, in the hall and you say, oh, good morning there. And they go, oh, yeah, hi. And they keep on walking. And you're like, oh, they don't like me. I, I've lost the job. I've lost the promotion. Right. And you're, you're like lingering on that. You don't even know. Perhaps your boss is racing to a meeting or perhaps they had an argument with their their wife or their husband that morning, right? <laughs> it's kind of like you're already feeling like you've lost something when you have it. You don't even know if you have lost, lost it. I'm not saying if you that you have or you haven't, okay, Libra, because that is the truth that you don't know at this time. It's almost as if you are getting so stuck up in your head, worrying that you've lost something when you don't even know if you have yet or not. Um, and look, you have the judgment. You're understanding just how important this is, right? Judgment card, we're finally getting a, a, a second chance at something that really and truly is near and dear to your heart that you're really and truly wanting for yourself. This energy of understanding, okay, I'm going to celebrate the conflict that has occurred here, even if it's only within yourself, because what you're recognizing now is just how important something, whether it's a job, a business, a, a house, a relationship, you know, a, a, a long-term committed relationship that you're in, a family member, you're finally stepping into the energy of understanding the truth that this is really important to you. You really and truly do want this. It's kind of like, oh my gosh, like almost an epiphany, okay? You're trying to now step into this energy. This is your advice. Bring this into balance. This can work. You're kind of like almost pretending it doesn't exist. And yet at the same time, the energy is there for it to work. The thing that's holding it all back is that you're just not saying to somebody, how do you feel? How do you feel about this situation? Um, because you have the ace of cups. <laughs> It, it, it is about having that conversation and just, you know, being willing to share your truth. First, you have to know your truth. Then it's about stepping into your truth, right? Of recognizing, okay, this is my truth. I know that this relationship, this job, this house, this city, whatever it is, this is what I want. I want it. So it's kind of like, okay, I have to, I have to actually voice that to somebody right and i i really feel like the <laughs> the thing you have to do you don't have to necessarily tell them how you feel up front i think it's really asking the question how do you feel how do you feel how do you feel about our relationship how do you feel about what if there is a conflict how do you feel about this you know um wow I, and I, I honestly don't think it's going to be as bad as you think. But even if it is Libra, right? Even if it is, even if you get the news that you are fearing the most, okay? Um, for some of you, I just got, you could be worried about going to the doctor. You could feel like maybe you have a health issue and you're afraid to go and ask the doctor, right? But it's like your anxiety is eating you up. You, you're probably not even taking very good care of yourself um, right now because of the high level of anxiety. So it's kind of like once you figure out what the truth is, <laughs> then you can move forward. You can say, oh, okay, you know, maybe, it, maybe it, it's really good news. And if it's not, then it's like, okay, now what's my next step? And that's, oh, it's just, I know it's so hard. It's so hard. 
we've all, you know, encountered this something where we we put something off, a conversation off, taking action because we just don't want our heart to be broken. It's almost as if, well, if I just keep, if I don't have this truth, then I can live in your la la land for a little bit longer, right? Just hoping that one day it can, but it's kind of like, I, I feel like the universe is saying, Libra, you have to know the truth here. And honestly, I kind of feel like the truth is going to um, <laughs> not be what, what you may fear it is, you know? Like, I, <laughs> you have the Ace of Cups. <laughs> you have the Ace of Cups. All right, let's pull this old truth card. And Libra, I do do personal reading. So if you're interested, the link is in the description box below. I'd really be honored to do a reading for you. Okay, so let's see what we have here. What can I do to make a difference? What keeps you up at night? What makes you cringe when you think about it such that every ounce of you screams no more? Where can you create purpose out of your pain? Um, okay, so the message that I got there okay, is that there's something that's keeping you up at night. There really is. Or it, once again, it could be the other person. Uh, there's something here that's keeping you up at night. And it's about understanding that the answer, the truth is really close at hand. All you have to do is have this conversation. Um, and I know that's hard. Use your mind wisely, right? Um, don't use your mind creating anxiety for yourself, thinking of all the different scenarios. Instead, just go take the plunge and find out the truth. Um, okay, so Libra, you know what? I'm going to do something special for you because I feel like this energy is... Um, uh, I was going to pull a creativity oracle card for you. But instead, what I'm going to do is if I'll pull a special one for you. So um, if you just comment to this video, I will pull a special card just for you. And I will comment back to you what your card says. Okay, so that will be um, instead of having just, you know, advice for everybody, you know, um, It'll help tap into a specific advice for you. So um, a little bit more personalized because I feel like some of you perhaps are really struggling and hopefully um, that will give you a little bit more um, clarity about your situation. All right, well, I'm going to leave it there. I really do um, wish you much love and light in this situation. Please be kind and generous with yourself at this time um, and understand uh, that you have the strength, the courage to face this situation. Um, and that, you know, you have your spirit guides and angels are seriously coming in to, to help you through this, you know, finding the truth in, what, in this matter. Um, whatever that may be. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Much love and light. I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.